came down here to Florida, you positively ignored me. I never saw anything like it. You men are all alike. But well, I think you're a you naughty, know. mean man to make poor Ida me cold. And I'm not going to let you go without me. Oh, boy, well, well. Bring my wife around. Huh? Oh, there. Nobody wants to But I'm awful, don't you? So it's you, is it? I've been laying for you for the last three or four days. Now, well, uh, I'd like to see you. Murder! You can't do this to me. I can't, eh? I'm doing it. You're going to get in a lot of trouble. I'll show you a few tricks to have. Say, can't I leave you alone for one minute without one of these guys trying to flirt with you? Huh? Oh. Now, if any of these birds annoy you, just let me know. Yeah, Tubby, dear. Gee, did you see what he did to that poor fellow? Boy, that house detective's wife is going to get some poor guy murdered. She'll flirt with anybody that wears pants. <laughs> Not me, little bright eyes. I'm going to join your party. Oh, oh yeah? yeah? Hey, you. Is there a gig by the name of J. Effington Bellwether camping in this joint? Mr. Bellwether is out. Well, he'll be out like a light if he don't come through with the 40 bucks he owes me for taking him out in my fishing boat. Why, the chis has been giving me the runaround for me, too. And I'm going to take it out of his hide. You tell the big love that. Mr. Bellwether is a guest in this hotel. I can't deliver any such message. But if you care to, you can leave him a note. Well, uh, I broke my tongue. Uh, will you just write it out for me? Certainly, with pleasure. Well, come in, sir. Dear Mr. Bellwether, listen, you four-flushing horse collar. If you don't come through with the jack you owe me, I'll knock your sappy-looking block off. There ain't no heel like you. Gonna put nothing over on me without getting a knuckle massage. <laughs> Affectionately yours, Deep C. McGoik, alias the Slaughterhouse Kid. Finny. Now, uh, don't forget and give that baloney salver to that. Okay. Hey, ho. Happy days are here. Hello, Walter. How do you do, Mr. Bellwether? Any uh, telegrams, cablegrams, radios, televisions? Yes, sir. Huh? A little note. A little note. Oh, thank you, Walter. Thank you, my bonny boy. Hmm. Silly little girl. Dangerous things, those lighters. I bought one in Copenhagen one time. It was a combination cigar lighter and matchbox. The matches were very good. Hello, mister. Uh, hello, little boy. Can I'm... you give me the camera? Oh, it's a little girl. Hello, little girl. How old are you? Five years old. Five years old. Will you I'll give you a dollar to put in your bag, if you'll sing me a song. Give me the dollar first! Ah, uh, you're more than five. Go on, get out of here.
That's your little girl? I don't know whose little girl it is, but she's trying to get money out of me. <laughs> she's a wonderful little child, though. I was just playing with her silken hair. You just can't as silk and beautiful. My hair if you want to. I can lift her up by her hair if I want to. She's as gay as a pebble. Mom, let's see Look at that. Her. Isn't it wonderful? It really is remarkable and light as a feather. Right? Mom, lift me up, lift me up. <laughs> he wants me to do it again. You know, it really is something to be proud of. Yes, it's marvelous, you little mink shoe, you wonderful little girl. Watch me lift her away. Watch me to show it to everybody in the hotel. Look. <laughs> Why, it's little. Little, uh. Little people. Say, was that guy trying to flirt with you? Who? Oh, you big silly. There hasn't been a man anywhere near me. Oh, don't try to kid me. If I catch him playing around you again, I'll pulverize him. Oh, you're such a big brute. Now, if any of these fellas make any wise cracks to you, just tip me off. All right, Daddy, dear. How do you do? Oh. <laughs> oh, I beg your pardon. Rather silly of me, wasn't it? No, was that your father? Oh, no. And he was about to strike you? Well, perhaps he would have if you hadn't been here. Why, the... Big, great, hulking brute. You know, I've never struck a woman in my life. You haven't? Not even my own mother. Oh, I could see that you were the very soul of kindness. Oh, I'm very kind. But of course, I can be cruel if needs be. You can. Oh, a veritable tiger. Oh, but you have courage written all over you. It's the laundry box, dear. Oh. <laughs> oh, they're going to play golf. Yeah. Oh, it must be wonderfully romantic and secluded out on the golf course. Oh, it's a marvelous game. I'm going to play this afternoon myself. Would you like to join me? Oh, I'd love to. Uh, do you play? Oh, no. I wouldn't even know which end of the caddy to use. Oh, but you do know something about it. Permit me. Thank you. Oh, I just love it out here. So nice and green and yes, everything. Yes, it is. Rather parky this morning, though. Mm -hmm. I have never been on such a crowded golf course in all my life. You little sissy. Did you bring a ball with you? Wonderful. Now, stay in clear and keep your eye on the ball. Everything is falling. Mm -hmm. This is what they call the explosion shot from the tea. Ah! It won't hurt you. It won't hurt you at all. Oh. Stand clear, boy. Wrong club. What? Wrong club. Try this putting niblick. A putting niblick? <laughs> really, the little chap doesn't understand the nomenclature of the game. Now, stand clear, boy, and keep your eye on the ball. I have it. It's all right. Stand clear. Stand. <coughs> uh, it's all right. Come here. Stand back here. He gets all hot and bothered about nothing. I lost a really dear friend in the Canary Islands. Many. What are you doing with a club like this in the bag? Don't play with these clubs. I lost a really dear friend in the Canary Islands many years ago. How dreadful. Chap the name of Pumphrey Pothle Whistle. Oh, what a funny name. Uh, it's one of the Pothle Whistles from Twickingham. If you've ever been to Twickingham... Mm -hmm. Stop it, will you? Oh! Oh, quite a driver. Yes, he is. Yes. Yes, he is. Hmm. <laughs> uh. Hmm. Yeah. Yes, we lost all both the whistles in the Canary Islands. He was kicked to death. Oh, that's a shame. Uh, he was kicked to death by two infuriated canary birds. Oh, what is it? Someone had been feeding them meat. I happened to... Excuse me, I... Anything strange about that glass? Yes, it does look rather odd. Yeah. I think the shaft is warped. Give me another pack. Ah, that's better. 
That's much better. Now. Yes. Now stand here, boy, and keep your eye on the ball. This is what they call hitting past the field, as I told you before. Really remarkable stuff. Here after all, a pie. Fancy bringing a pie to a golf course. A pint, yes, but a pie never. Why, it's like uh, it's like carrying carrying uh, something or other somewhere or other, as the case may be. You stand clear and keep your eye on this ball. <coughs> Stand fair, boy. Keep your eye on the ball. Stand fair. Quite a breeze. Yes, there is quite a breeze. Yes, yes there is. Quite a breeze. Yeah. Here's your overcoat. Oh. Oh. Now stand clear, boy. Keep your eye on the ball. Thank you, saying this is hitting past the chin. Yeah. Hitting as far past the chin as possible. Then never stand close to the ball when you hit it up, you hit it. Sounds like one of those birds that fly backwards. Oh. Then clear boy, fly on the ball. It's coming this way. Habited feet of yours. I was saying, it requires a great deal of quiet nerve and slow sticking. You stand still and keep your eye on the ball. I'm sorry to lose my temper. Uh, what is it? Oh, Godfrey Daniel. Again as a caddy, or all the tea in China. All the tea or coffee or chop suey or whatever it is they have there, so much else. Advice said I'd like to wring your neck. I'd like to wash it first and then give it a good ring. Give it a ring that heal for miles. Miles. You take that out, please. Well, yes, of course. Thank you. We'll put it in there. Mm -hmm. Good. Right. Thank you. It is really disgusting. Oh, it's terrible. I'm sorry that you had to see this. That's all right. Mm -hmm. Now, stand here and keep your eye on the ball. Thank 
Stand still. Hello, Sheriff. Oh, are yeah. you? The Sheriff is looking for Mr. Bellwether. Ooh. Well, where is he? He's out playing golf with your wife. With my wife? Come on, holy smoke, let's get it. There it is. Huh? There. Where? On the end of your club. Oh. So it oh, is, so oh, it is. Yes. What an eye he has. Mm. Now you stand clear and keep your eye on the ball. Oh, I've forgotten something. Huh? Oh. Probably forgotten her horse. Well, I won't need it anyway. Won't need a horse. Want to ride it? I won't need it either. Here's a club for you for short holes. Now, stay clear. Keep your eye on the ball. I lost a horse one time. I forgot him. I left him down the Grand Canyon. Grand Canyon, that's a beautiful camel you have with you. Crazy about me. Now stand clear, boy. Don't stand there. Don't you know I'll smite you in the sconce with this truncheon? He's <laughs> standing right and go boom away. Oh, that's a shame. Yes. Thanks. Thanks for nothing. You stay clear and keep your eye on this ball. I was saying this is hitting past the chin. Mm -hmm. Stand clear, bar. that up to you. All right. Now stand clear and keep your eye on the ball. Another thing I forgot to tell you was, keep the wrists together. Never let the wrists separate. Take the club back slow. No, no. Oh! I was saying before, you've got to keep the wrists close together. Never let the wrists... Keep the wrists close together. Close together. Never let the wrists separate. Keep them close together. Keep the wrists close together. 